Hello there and welcome to all of you in a new episode of Clack It. We're going to be looking at several movies from all around the world, from Bollywood, Hollywood and also Europe and maybe sometimes some Asian movies. Why not? Tonight we're going to be focusing more in the uh, movies that were nominated for the Oscars. You know, some of them won lots of awards, some of them actually left with nothing. Tonight we're going to cover some of them, so stay tuned. The first movie for tonight in the list is a comedy, drama, and a music film starring Emilia Jones. The Oscar winner, Marley Matlin, uh, Troy Kotzer, and Daniel Durant. The movie written and directed by Sean Heder. The movie is Coda. Oh, sometimes I get a good feeling, yeah. Yeah, I get a feeling that I never, 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 never had before. And you sing. Interesting. I've been coaching for Berkeley College of Music. I can help you get a scholarship. of pretty voices with nothing to say. Do you have something to say? You will be required to have a hearing individual on board at all times. I can't stay with you for the rest of my life. The title might not be familiar for so many people. Coda is actually child of deaf adults. Ruby is the only hearing person in her deaf family. When the family's fishing business is threatened, Ruby finds herself torn between pursuing her love of music by wanting to go to a Berkeley College of Music and her fear of abandoning her own parents. some details about the movie. The running time of the movie is 1 hour and 51 minutes. The movie has a rating of 8 on IMDb. The movie received three nominations for the Oscar Best Motion Picture of the Year. Best Performance by an Actor in a Supporting Role, and that's for Troy uh, Kotzer. Best Adapted Screenplay uh, went for uh, Sean Heder. The movie first came out in the United States. Uh, that was uh, 29th of January 2021. 
The budget for this movie is $10 million and the movie grossed over $1.1 million worldwide. Not really that much of amount, but it got the Oscar. You were my destiny With my arms open wide I threw away my pride I'll sacrifice for you Dedicate my life to you I will go where you lead Always there in time of need And when I No looking back for us. We got love, sure enough, that's enough. You're all, all that I need to get by. Good actors really care about their movies. For example, actress Amelia Jones spent nine months learning American Sign Language, having singing lessons, and learning how to operate a fishing trawler. In addition to standing for child of deaf adults, coda can also mean a concluding passage of a music in a composition. The coda symbol is clearly visible for those who watch the movie. On the page of a musical symbol, Professor Vela Lobos is, uh, you know, when he was teaching Ruby during a montage scene. This movie is based on a French film. Uh, the uh, title of the French film is La Famille uh, Bel Air. That was in 2014. I hope I got this right. However, when the movie was released, it was controversial in the deaf community. Why? Because two of the main deaf characters in the movie were played by hearing actors, with the exception of Luca Gilbert who is deaf in reality. Now, in CODA, all of the deaf members of the Rosie family are played by actors who are also deaf in their real lives. So we're talking about Marley Matlin, Troy uh, Kotzer, and also Daniel Duran. Going back to uh, Marley Matlin and Troy Kotzer, they have already played a married couple in the CSI NY 2004 episode. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you do watch the CSI NY. Uh, this was specifically the Silent Night from the year 2006. On this side. Come on, move. Everyone, to this side. Move. Let's see if you're an alto, a soprano. I will be accepting the happy birthday song. I do not need an entire meal. I just want to praise your voice. You, Harry Potter, come on, let's hear it. <clears throat> Happy birthday to you. Tenor. Next. Happy birthday to you. Alto. Next. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mr. Bernardo. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. An interesting fact uh, about the actors, uh, Eugenio Derbez uh, dubbed his own voice for the Latin American Spanish version of the film. Uh, Marley Matlin and Daniel Durant both had recurring roles on Switched at Birth uh, from the year 2011, which also featured many deaf characters. Now, because the fishing scenes involved real fishing, the cast and crew had to abide by local fishing rules. One day, uh, they actually had to bring an observer with them, uh, live imitating art from the movie, and they had to uh, move one of the crew members from the boat, uh, since, you know, they could only have a maximum of 10 people on the boat at once. and flows of angel hair and ice cream castles 
ripples in the air and feather canyons everywhere. I've looked at clouds that way, but now they only block the sun. They rain and snow on everyone. So many things I would have done, but clouds got in my way. I've looked at clouds from both sides now, from up and down, and still somehow. I recall. I really don't. And another good movie from the uh, movies of the Oscars. Uh, the next one is a Japanese drama film starring Hidochi uh, Nishijima, directed by Bria Soko Himagochi. Very difficult Japanese names, but I'm trying my best in here. So the movie is, I'm sure a lot of you saw it. Drive my car. A lovely movie.妻です。僕たちは確かに僕が一番恐れていたのは音を失うことだった。今回は私たちの決まりでドライバーを用意します。というと彼女です。渡辺美咲です。僕はまだドライバーを君に頼むことに同意してない。私が若い女だからですか。一ヶ月半の稽古と二週間の本番です。ずるい人だ。はい、と。失礼。君はどうして広島に？実家の裏が山なんです。大雨で地滑りが起きて、母はその事故で亡くなったんです。お父さんって素敵じゃないですか。とても。僕たちは同じ悲しみを共有している。同じ女を愛したから。生きていく他ないの。私の方がおじさんよりずっと不幸かもしれない。それでも私はやけなんか起こさない。だから今。<笑><
The runtime of the movie is two hours and 59 minutes. Uh, very long, but it's actually worth it. It has a rating of 7.7 .7 on IMDb. The movie received four uh, Oscars nominations, Best Motion Picture of the Year, uh, of the you know year 2021. Also, Best Achievement in Directing for uh, Rhea uh, Sook Hamaguchi, Best Adapted Screenplay, and Best International Feature Film. The movie first came out in France, 11th of July, 2021. Uh, in the first weekend of the United States box office, the movie profits were around $13,000 in total. Maybe not really much, but the movie is really good. So the movie grossed over $2 million and the movie grossed over $5 million worldwide later on. <laughs> しかった。もう一度。わかんないな。誰もあの子の代わりにはなれないわけだし。でも同じぐらい愛せたかも。君が望まないものを僕だけ望んでも仕方ないよ。ごめんね。君のせいじゃない。僕も君と一緒にそれ
Their cruelty to my people is all I've known. What's to become of our world? A boy! <laughs> Duncan, can I trust you with something? Yes, always, you know that. I've been having dreams about a girl on Arrakis. I don't know what it means. Dreams make good stories. But everything important happens when we're awake. Hey, you. Put on some muscle? I did? No. The runtime of this movie is 2 hours and 35 minutes. It has a rating of 8.1 on IMDb. And it's ranked 238 on IMDb Top 250 Films. The movie received 10 Oscar nominations, including Best Picture of the Year. And the movie came out in Kuwait on 23rd of September of 2021. We are House Atreides. There is no call we do not answer. There is no faith that we betray. Smile, Gurney. I am smiling. The Emperor asks us to bring peace to Arrakis. House Atreides accepts! I know you. There's only a way in my mind. You need to face your fears. Come with me. It was a great movie with a huge budget. The budget for this movie is actually $165 million. In the first weekend of the United States box office, the movie profits was around $41 million in total. The movie grossed over $108 million and the movie grossed over $400 million worldwide. The Duke suddenly sees too much. This is I do kill them all. God in heaven. Get everything with guns off the ground! Go! This is an extermination. They're picking my family off one by one. Let's fight like demons. Dad, what if I'm not the future of House Atreides? Some interesting information about the movie, uh, unfortunately the first one did not really see the light. Singer Sting was considered for a cameo, which is a small role in a movie, after he starred as Fade Rutha in David Lynch doing the original movie in 1984. The character ended up omitted from the 2021 adaptation. Another information is that uh, composer Hans Zimmer, the great Hans Zimmer, spent a week in the desert of Utah alone to assimilate some of the sounds of the landscape into his thinking for the score. Also, Dune is Denis Villeneuve's third consecutive science fiction film. If you remember Arrival from 2016 and also Blade Runner 2049 from 2017. The producers wanted Emma Roberts to play the role of Princess Orlan, but the star gave up because of the busy schedule. I think, uh, well, she wasn't really that much interested in the movie. A great man doesn't seek to lead. He's called to it. But if your answer is no, you'll still be the only thing I ever needed you to be. My son. If anything happens, will you protect Paul? With my life. The scenes of the ocean world of uh, Caladan were shot in uh, Norway. Uh, much of the desert uh, scenes also are on the desert world of Arrakis were shot in Jordan and Abu Dhabi, right in the Middle East. This film sports a distinctly Arabic theme in keeping with author Frank Herbert to having used Islamic culture as an influence for the story. The helmets of the uh, Harkonnen in the movie, the soldiers, uh, is uh, actually based on the heads of insects. The linguistics expert David J. Peterson helped create the Furman language for the movie. He's uh, also uh, most well known for helping create the Game of Thrones from 2011 languages of Dothraki and Valyrian for those who watched Game of Thrones. Don't be 
fooled by the welcome. They follow their old master's rules, mandatory attendance. That's bargain and love out there. out of the sun. The heat can kill in this place. Let's talk a little bit about Rebecca Ferguson, who played the mother of uh, Timothy Chalamet uh, in the movie, despite being only 12 years older than him. Uh, Chalamet is uh, in the movie playing a 15-year-old uh, guy, so it doesn't really matter. That makes it actually 20 years age difference for the characters. Don't stand with your back to the door. How many times do we have to tell you? I can tell this you by your footsteps, Gurney Halleck. Someone might imitate my stride. I know the difference. Are you the new weapons master? And with the last movie for tonight, which is an animation, adventure, and comedy film starring Danny McBride, Maya Rodloff, and also Abby Jacobson, written and directed by Michael Rianda. The movie is The Mitchells vs. The Machines. <laughs> Katie used to be my little buddy. We'd go on nature hikes and skip rocks. What's left out there, killer? Are you excited for camp? Don't make me go. I mean, we used to be so connected. Hey, Dad, smile. You know, you could experience things a whole lot better without that camera. Dad, this is how I experience things. I don't think. <laughs> the story is about a quirky, dysfunctional family's road trip is upended when they find themselves in the middle of the robot apocalypse and suddenly become humanity's unlikeliest less hope. Yes, tomorrow I'm finally leaving for college. But in the meantime, I made you guys this goodbye video. You know what? This is our last night together. Oh. How about we make 10 seconds of family eye contact? Starting. Put your phone down. Now. Now you're allowed to blink. It's just eye contact. Ugh, finally. No screens at the table. Lynn, why are you kicking me? I don't understand. I'm just gonna... No, no, look, I'll watch it. Dad, it's too late. Look, I want to watch it. Uh... Dad, this is exactly why I'm excited to leave tomorrow. Katie. I know you can fix this. The runtime of this film is one hour and 53 minutes long. It has a rating of 7.7 .7 on IMDb, and the movie received one Oscar nomination for the Best Animated Feature of the Year. The movie first came out in the United States 22nd of April of 2021. Why do you need all that to take me to the airport? I canceled your plane ticket to college. We are going to drive you to school on a cross-country road trip as a family. <laughs> Behold. <laughs> and now I present tricking Rick Mitchell and... Dang it, Katie. Hey, Dad, can you check the trunk? Yeah, sure. Dang it, Katie. Hey, kids, there's supposed to be some great hikes around here. Just a sec, Dad. We hear a pal about to drop our biggest invention yet. Meet the helper bot. We promise you they will never... Turn it. Mom, what is that? Greetings, humans. Technology rising up. Robots roaming the streets. What is this strange creature? Dog, pig, dog, pig, dog, loaf of bread. The Mitchells have always been weird. No time to wash your hands. Don't worry, I never do. Oh. That's what makes us great. Girl. And we just might be weird enough to save the world. <laughs> All right, hands in. Well, there are so many movies nominated for the Oscars, and I'm sure they're going to be more next year. Uh, we didn't really get the chance to cover all of the movies, uh, you know, the ones that were nominated for the year 2022. I promise you in the upcoming episodes, we're going to be covering some more. Till uh, next time, see you inshallah, and goodbye.